Hello, I'm Xenolith. Let's play Endless Legend as the Roving Clans. This will probably be the hardest part of this game. If we survive, it'll become progressively easier. want yes we want more luxury resources so we fulfill our faction quest still need 26 dies That seems useful. This is one little bug where you can't create new armies when you have an army on a city. Or rather you can't merge into that army if you want. You have to move it away, create the new army and then move your old army onto the newly created one. Just a bit weird. I mean it makes sense because it's easier to code but it doesn't really make sense from a user perspective. Give her new equipment. Huh. <laughs> Can't afford it exactly. those because I have some sign stones I think. Yeah. And all of these tiles have industry so let's build this as well. That order is fine. Oh, 
Now that I have a grain array, I want some population and growth. I suppose that applies here as well. More dust per turn. Let's retrofit our guys. Soon he'll surround me completely. Not quite what I want. Central market, but I should probably build industry first. Question is just which one? Apprenticeship. Bread and circuses will really help with our approval. It should give us 10 everywhere. Oh. Ah, cultists, yeah. Well, that, that makes sense. We want this one. Into there. How's our empire happiness looking? A bit better than before. More science. Alright, we grew here, I can move that back to industry. And there's not much more to do than wait for all these buildings to be done. More dust, that's always nice. Let's see what's on offer. One unit we want, and it's not cheap. We're getting some money from our faction ability. And it definitely seems like there are two roving clans, besides me.
gas dust, nice. Granary. Mm, yeah. Let's put some population into growth. Ended here, but with that cost, <laughs> it'll take a while before they're built. considering this is definitely better time to queue up the next tech Maybe stockpiles. Or this one. Should help a lot. Once we start getting trade route upgrades on our roving clans heroes. See how much they get per turn now? Six. Yay. One more turn. For the continuation of a faction quest. More industry. Always great. Let's keep up the granary. Fifteen food is nice. Some flying things there. This is f fine. I can get it to grow a turn earlier. At the cost of a lot of industry though.
Not sure if worth it. No, I want the overflow. I'll give me more industry in the long term. Moonleaf is a fine resource to have. right of way to finish. Um queue up the military resources. Dust wine. Yay. It is said that blind greed leads to blind decisions. If I was to be accused of any weakness, it would most likely have been that one. However, regardless of what the rumors whispered, I did not then look to gather dust solely to increase my own treasury. Scientists and mystics have always been excited by one curious goal, bringing together enough dust to create what they called a critical mass. It sounds more like a weight problem than a glorious discovery, but they assured me that if sufficient volumes of dust could be assembled, the magic within it would awaken sufficiently to unlock echoes from the great dust labyrinths of the past. But I must not forget my people in my rush to amass this dust. It would be wise to increase the prestige and influence of my empire at the same time as I increase its wealth. Oh god, for the influence each turn. In that case, I'm going to need either this stack or this one. I have five cities. Yeah, it should be barely enough. Yep, let's go with it. Not enough of a difference for me to care. Yeah, that's not going to get any faster. But this one will help more than lumber mill. After that... Let's go with right of way. And... This will definitely help a lot. So will gold. Which I'll get as well. And... Dai actually has a use now for my faction quest. So I'll build a few of those buildings.
yeah, it's very specific of those buildings. I mean, um, what are they called? Glory of Empire. And then I'll activate my dice. And it'll go a bit quicker. Because I won't have to wait for the building to finish in all of my cities. Hey, why did those guys go? income is respectable now. No, I can't afford it. Finally. That will help a lot, and it will give me some extra influence as well. Probably start amassing some ended. Ah, demons. Those are the units I actually want. More initiative, more life. A bit less damage, but that's fine. Let's put them in a different city, so I can easily distinguish them from my self-built units. I get double health because of my faction trait. Which makes these very, very scary. <laughs> Against the eyes, anyway. Uh, let's look for those flying dudes that peeked into my territory before. Here they are. And we can't have a village this close. Yeah, easy. AT dust. It's alright, I guess. Not that much at this point in the game. I am falling behind a bit, but... should still be fine. Once I get those up, it'll be a bit extra dust as well. About double that, so 30 fits is respectable. Ah, 
and with that quest and my hero bonuses, it'll really start to take off. Hmm, two wine resources. I might want to rush out a settler. They're not here, I think. So maybe after I've completed the burrows, that that's fine then. Then I don't really care about the F population point. But two wines? That'll give me forty wines per ten turns, so actually enough to get another city after that and still have perpetual wine on without spending dust. So what I'll do is is grab this region as well maybe? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Let's do this quickly. Easy without much damage taken. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get that to level 3. And take out this village. Let's see if. There's another demon. There is. Whoops. They have tier 1 dust equipment, so... Good. I approve. How much is their maintenance? Oh right, it's just level, of course. I'll probably spend it on exactly the same thing as before. And I can actually keep this perpetually on. Ah, oh, it's starting to grow. It's still not that much, but soon. Let's check for another demon. No demons. Hmm. I can still wait a bit. And with those rights of way built, I'll be able to move my settler up there very, very quickly. He should be unable to steal that region, especially because he'll settle this one first. I still haven't met them. This is <laughs> really interesting. that a granary uh, that's fine one leaf is fine you have ten percent food ten percent dust why not I 
actually. This might be worth it. Give me more dust, more dust, probably before this, no, 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 after the signs. I can keep that perpetually on. The Moonleaf, which gives 50% science on Empire. Still want two more ended in my main army. Uh, game, please, don't freeze. More XP, always welcome. Outposts. It's a good question. What do I want? Oh, because I've gold active. I wonder if that's additive or multiplicative. Let's go with this one. Should help a lot with barrier streets. Because I'm going to be building a settler so I don't forget to have none in food. I'm going to move it over now. Let's check again for demons. That's all fine. <laughs> now let's move that over. Right now, I don't think I need them in dust anymore because my base production is already high enough. Still a lot of things to build here, so I need more people in industry. Ah, oh, I can get the granary next turn, that's worth it. That's all fine. that central market. Yeah, pop growth. Always good. Actually, I might even want lumber mill before that. And let's get some more XP. And who did we encounter? Walters. Those aren't my neighbors. How did I encounter them? Of course, they are leading. I can finally check out. 
how we're doing this game. <laughs> Not that badly in military. Pretty badly in expansion and population and research <laughs> and food industry dust wow well, a lot more science well influence doesn't really matter too much but if there are that 30 researches quite scary. That means they have almost unlocked era 5. Well, not almost, they have free text towards era 5. And I'm not sure how I even met them. Don't see any units. Maybe they have more vision range than me. It's Harmonite. Uh. Oh, of course, yes. They have more vision range. But the units aren't that scary. Could probably take them with these because of Cavalry Slayer 4. damage less initiative though dust how disappointing oh there they are so after glory of empire I might want to research peace Neighbors, necrophages. Oh God, why? Well, that'll certainly be fun. Um, which one was I looking for? This screen, right. And the demon. So after P actually before peace we want mercenaries. Is that the right one? Yeah, privateers. Run away before they attack you. I watch them declare war immediately this turn. Do I want free dust on anomaly or I think? Hmm.
get this one. Because I think the way the hero bonus to trade routes work is you actually have to have um, trade route bonuses from other sources first. And they magnify those bonuses significantly. Okay, check for more demons. None this turn. We have lots of industry going here. we get the 50% dust from our faction quest. Yeah, we want that. Actually, now that we have 8 population, I think I might want everything in industry. And also get a level 2 district going. afford uh, this one, right? Yeah, I will. Uh, actually, I might go this. The building production cost reduction is going to be huge. Glory of Empire. Let's queue that up before the caravans array. And I'm not sure where I can afford to build it quickly. Here, I guess. Though, well, I'm going to build another borough streets first. 
So that's 7.5. Barely not enough. But I think this one gives... Um, where is it? Suez? No, not the one I'm looking for. Nothing that gives extra approval, I think. Extra influence on approval is what I meant to say. And again, check for demons. Huh, even fear ended now. That's troubling. Let's have those up so our armies can merge. Maybe they are at war. Oh, how do I change the. I thought you could. Oh, right, I click on this. Nope, they are not at war. That's strange. I would have expected them to be. And now I can also check how the necrophages militarily to me favorably three more turns I'll have the wine to activate that again won't have the gold but I can buy 10 gold that's no problem Doesn't seem like it is to me. Nothing to do here. Alright, it looks like... In the next episode, we'll actually have some combat against major factions. If not instigated by them, then... Instigated by me, purely in self-defense, of course. That's not a contradiction at all. Alright, thanks for watching.